What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Real quick, as I'm leaving the Veterans Administration Hospital for my, you know, regular checkup. You know, you gotta go to the hospital. And, you know, men, we don't do that. We don't go get checkups. We don't do anything. That's why we die early, right? But I actually heard a, a black man, it was a veteran. He was talking just, you know, there's a lot of old black, you know, African-American veterans out here who's getting treated, you know, and uh, he was a POW. And he was just talking about, you know, his time as a POW. And it got me thinking. It got me thinking about this one question. And I, I just wonder if you ever think, think about this. When a person is captured, let's say Vietnam, right? Or let's say the Korean War, any any time, any troop, when they're a POW, right? Do you ever think that they wanted to stay in the place that they were captured? You know, like the place they were captured or a place they were dragged to. You know, because some POWs, they were captured and they were taken somewhere else, right? Or, you know, they were captured and they were put into labor camps somewhere, right? All sorts of POWs. Throughout history, we've all, there's always been POWs, prisoners of war. You know, do you think that the majority of time that they wanted to stay there, like after the war was over, after the conflict was over, after political change, do you think that the majority of them wanted to stay in the place that they were prisoners of war at you know captured you know even if let's say you know they were treated really bad and uh the people who are you know who captured their captures let's say their captures started to treat them better you know you know maybe they don't get beat like they used to get beat maybe they don't get tortured like they used to get tortured Maybe they can, you know, live in their own shack instead of living in a cell. Maybe they get, you know, more meals, better food. Uh, maybe they get more recreational time. Maybe they get, you know, maybe they're able to have a local girl. Maybe they'll bring in some local girls and they're able to, you know, partake in adult activities with, you know, maybe they get that, you know. Maybe they start to get treated bad, but do you think that the majority of them wants to stay in the place that they're captured? And if that's the case, do you think that um, they have the right to go home? Is there a problem with them wanting to, to go home? Let's say, even if they got all the, you know, even if they got all the amenities of a normal life, you know, they were still captured. They were still placed into some form of bondage, put to work, you know. There's still wrong that there's still wrong that hasn't been righted. So if you are a captured POW, you know, if if you're and you have children and you just got a whole generations of children and offspring who are results of that one action, that event that happened in the past, do you think that them wanting to go back home to where they're actually from is a problem? Do you think that's uh, running away? Can you run away from a POW camp? Is that a shameful thing? Can you run away from the place that your people was captured and taken to? Even if you can live a relatively decent life, but you know, there's opportunities back where you're originally from in that place that you're really from, is that still not your home? Is that still not your, where you're from? Is that still not your homeland? Do you still have some sort form of obligation to, to go back home? No, do you have the right to go back home? Should people shame you for wanting to go back home instead of staying on the plantation or the POW camp or, just think about that. Like, if you really think about it, What's the difference? You know, POW, captured, people who get captured by war, transatlantic slave trade, people who got captured by war. It was all war. And war is all about capitalism and money and resources, all the same, right? So if a POW, no matter how they were treated, you know, how much they were getting favored or, and all that stuff, even if they were getting semblance of power, shouldn't they want to go home? Right? Isn't that with the whole like the Israeli thing, you know, the Jewish thing, to go home because they were done wrong historically, in the book anyway, 
you know, the, the, the fairy tale, the story, you know, they were done wrong and they returned home after a great injustice. Well, wasn't the transatlantic slave trade a great injustice? And it was definitely for sure, even if you believe the fairy tale, way bigger, m way more massive than that. This was even bigger on a bit more of a biblical proportions. Like this was this and this actually happened. So just like the Jews got the right to go home and repatriate, nobody gives them flack. They're not running away. They're not doing that. Shouldn't Africans be seen and viewed the same way? And shouldn't we be afforded the same opportunity? Think about it. So the next time you hear an African-American who's a, a product of a POW, you know, say, hey, you're running away. What do you run away from? The, the prison camp? The plantation? What are you running? You're not running away from home because home is not here. Home is there. You just ain't been here yet, right? So I'm just, I'm just saying, just have anybody ever thought about that? Let me know in the comment section. Just after think, think, learn some, teach some. I'm out.